What's going on everybody? Welcome back to G Miles World and before we get into the secret that I discovered when I went wild and savage in Madden 22 Ultimate Team, I'm gonna let you guys know both of these cards are okay. Um, I don't think that they're really what we were looking for, uh, you know, to kind of end off the Zero Chill Legends weekend, but I, you guys got to know, it, you know, the Ultimate Legends should be starting soon. So once that happens, it's going to be a lot of, you know, OP cards coming back and we will be able to get some of the cards that we actually want. Now, pretty much what's happening is this, right? In this game right here, uh, a lot of you guys already know the Deep Out is pretty much one of the abilities that I would recommend highly if you're looking to Moss Dudes uncontrollably, right? So I lost the game in Weekend League and I went crazy and I was gonna go back to my Madden 20 scheme. The problem with Madden 20 scheme, there's a run commit glitch in 22. So if you play somebody that knows how to do that, they can stop every run and it doesn't matter, with the exception of the pistol runs. Like certain pistol runs you run commit and, and it's automatically six, right? But for the most part, you're gonna play a lot of people that know what the run commit glitch is. So we can't really get away with running stretch the way that we did back in Madden 20. So what did I do, right, when I went crazy? I went out and I bought that JJ Watt, right? So what I'm gonna explain to you guys right now is this. A lot of you guys have a lot of, um, you know, questions about mossing, yo, Jimai, I see you just doing whatever you want. You're mossing dudes at will. All that stuff is good, but I, everybody is not created equal when it comes to the moss. Just because JJ Watt is 6'5 and he gets deep out, that doesn't mean he can moss. Similar to the fact that, you know, certain tight ends like uh, Cook Coke Crack, Jared Cook, he can moss without an ability. It's certain things in the game where you have to just play the game to kind of figure out what's really going on. Keep in mind though, if you're somebody that's just starting to get used to Madden and you're like, you know, what's this whole Moss thing? What's going on? You gotta just watch some of the live streams, whether it's Twitch uh, here at G Myers World on YouTube or G Myers World Gaming. Just look at the gameplays that I put out because pretty much I'm coming out and I'm looking to Moss you. So you'll be able to see what's going on. Most people, you know, pretty much knows what it is at this point, but we look for a certain type of uh, attribute and we look for a certain type of situation uh, with the player itself. So what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna explain to you guys J explain to you guys why JJ Watt is trash, right? So let me go over here. Let me let me find his card real quick. Because if you want to use him as a run blocker, that's fine. But to be honest, the Fat Perry, uh, William Perry, the fridge, that guy is better. Um, if you're looking to like come out and just run the ball and be a weirdo, um, that is some. I would probably go with Perry and just see what's good, right? So let's take a look at his attributes, right? A lot of the things that go on within the game, when you power him up, he goes up to a 92 run block. Just add plus one to everything that you see uh, along these lines um, as we go through. But we're gonna get down to the nitty gritty and we're gonna talk about a few things that um, a lot of people don't really address. They don't they don't look at it like, it's like, okay, so is the dude garbage? Uh, he is 6'5", what's making him so bad? So looking overall at his numbers, he doesn't seem to be um, something that wouldn't be able to moss, right? Because he's 6'5", so so is Calvin, right? You see what's going on right now? You see his jump is a 94? This is something that I've been trying to address for a very, very long time. You guys think that certain attributes make the players do things, right? So theoretically, when we played the one, we played one game with him, he was raid sold instantaneously. He doesn't animate or jump, and he has a 94 jump that goes to a 95 with the final, you know, when you upgrade him, right, to his, you know, whatever tier. 95 to 99 is the same thing, right? So look, we see that right there. Now we gotta go find uh, spec catch, right? So you see how his spec catch is at 82, catching traffic 81, whatever. This is what I want you guys to understand. This is what I discovered. Anybody with a spec catch that's too low, like under 90, they're not going to animate. And we figured that out today live on stream. So if you're looking for a player and you're like, yo, I'm gonna go out here and I'm gonna moss somebody's eye sockets out. Don't focus on jump because that's what I did because I'm an idiot. And I'm like, yo, he has to be, it's like, look, put it, put it like this, right? If he has a high jump, he should be able to get up in the air because we've given him the ability of deep out. So he's more than likely gonna animate in certain cases. You, like, just, just think about it like realistically. And I, I know a lot of you guys are like, yo, realistically with Madden? And then you're right. I, I, okay, okay, you guys are right. I'm wrong. Okay, I'm an, dude, don't use realism with Madden. I got it, guys. I know you guys are gonna be raging at me in the comment section. But what I'm saying is, I'm thinking, this is just my, you know, my, my thought process. He's gonna be a 95 jump, because all, all you have to do when you get the card is add a little bit of training, and then it jumps up to 95 jump. I'm saying to myself, 95 to 99, he's definitely gonna animate. We put him on the outside, he's gonna have a 92 run block, 89 speed, so when we wanna run the ball, he's gonna hold his blocks. Wrong. 
Wrong. May Charlie Murphy rest in peace. What happened was this, right? He doesn't even block anybody when he's outside playing the wide receiver position. Like an iPro, he doesn't even block anyone. He just runs up the field and doesn't pay attention to anything. So not only does he not jump, he also doesn't block. So he sucks, which is why I would recommend Perry. But this is very important because a lot of you guys are telling me like, yo, g I'm getting so much success. I'm throwing up post routes, corner routes, I'm mossing dudes. I love to hear it because your opponents are raging and that makes me happy because you guys are winning. That's a win for me. And your opponents are raging. That's also a win for me. So that's why it's cool. So I need you guys to stay away. D look, bro, when you see jump, don't worry about the jump rating. Just make sure that the spec catch rating is where it's at. The spec catch is what it's all about. There was a point. You guys remember in Madden 20? What was the dude, the Queen Latifah dude? Calvin Benjamin, Queen Latifah? That dude right there, right? With his golden ticket, go back to those videos. He didn't really have a crazy jump, but he has a he had a wild spec catch. And he was mossing dudes uncontrollably. And I remember we were arguing about it like, yo, what, what matters, what matters? You, you know, we're trying to figure it out. And then it, it all came down to it, it's still spec catch. That's why the corners with the higher spec catch defensively, they actually go up and pick the ball off. But we had to figure it out because a lot of people uh, believe that the game was changed and the attributes matter more. I also agree with that. I think the attributes matter a little bit more, but in that case, that jump does not register when you're trying to moss. So that whole situation, we raped sold them, we did what we had to do. And now I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys again what's happening with Calvin. Why is Calvin so dangerous? And why is he one of the favorites in Madden? Like, I love Calvin. No matter what happens, I'm gonna have him on the squad. Everybody knows that, right? Like, pretty much EA knew that they had to make him a physical receiver just so it cost me two AP to moss a dude's brains, you know, just moss a dude's brains out of their socket. So let's take a look at this now, right? You see his spec catch? Just notice what I'm telling you. And then you can go to my Twitter, go to my Instagram, check out my monsters with Calvin Johnson. And he's literally just jumping over dudes' necks, okay? His jump is 97, but it doesn't even matter that his jump is 97. Because I can show you players with not, uh, not high jumps, but decent spec catch, and they'll moss the same way, all right? So that's one of the reasons why this guy is one of the best players to moss with. But again, when I was looking at it like this, I'm gauging more towards the jump because you have to get higher than the defender, right? When you throw the ball up for the streak, you have to get higher than the defender. So I'm thinking like, yo, if JJ Watt has jump, don't matter that his spec catch is low. He's gonna jump up in the damn air. Wrong, wrong, that dude is garbage. So now, I showed you Calvin. Now, who do, who else do we moss with? Randy, Randito Moss, arguably one of the greatest deep threat, well, not, not one of, the greatest deep threat in NFL history, right? You see how his jump is a 95, right? And his spec catches a 94, which is one one attribute lower than the final tier. But he mosses just fine. Which, d this is the thing, right? Whether it's a minimum of 90 or whatever it is, I'm gonna tell you this right now. The 90 and the 90 might be a thing, but if you play around with, with like tight ends that can't jump or, or whatever, or they don't have spec catch, they're not gonna moss. It, it's just not gonna happen. So. What I'm gonna suggest going forward for all of you guys that are looking like, yo, g I'm really trying to moss, bro. I'm loving it, my opponents are rage quitting. What I'm going to recommend is that you guys take a look at the cards that, you know, very, very closely with the jump, because look, certain tight ends, they're gonna trick you, dude. Like this guy's jump is a 94, right? What is his spec catch? 91. So it could be that the 90 is what you're looking for on both as a minimum to be able to get the animations. And a lot of the players, like Kyle Dig Out Your Girls Pits, He's an exception to the rule. He has really, really good numbers, but he doesn't moss with like the regular g streak. He doesn't moss like that. Like it's weird, so there's, there are exceptions, but I'm just letting you guys know, the spec catch is more important than jump. So always go by spec catch if you're looking to moss somebody's brains out. And then when you start mossing dudes, tag me on Twitter, at g World, and let me see it. I'm gonna see you guys and girls next time you enjoy your day. Happy New Year. One love, y'all.